What is going on guys? I thank each and every one of you for joining me today and we are going to be doing a, another epic unboxing. Unfortunately, however, my camera, I don't know why it's acting up, up again, but it recorded the entire video minus the first, I'd say 45 seconds. So I had to reshoot the intro separate, which kind of stinks because that's when I opened the box. So as exciting as that may sound, we're going to pick it up where we left off and I will see you on that side. Thanks for joining me, and hopefully you learned something from this. This is uh, going to be interesting. And since I already opened up the box and knew what the surprise was, um, definitely stick around because I'm going to tear this reel apart uh, pretty much the second I take it out of the box. And you're going to understand why. We're going to make another purchase from this company. Uh, it's just simply because their customer service sucks, especially if you have to match a price on something. And it's a tiny little box. I thought the box would be bigger. And it is the brand spanking new Akuma Epixer. Now I had, going back, I don't even know how many years now, maybe 15 years ago, I picked up uh, Akuma Epixer bait feeders, which are these guys here. I don't even know how old these are, 10, 15 years ago? And they were all right, the gears kind of jumped out of the pinion because of the side plate flex. But I used them for like, you know, I don't know, just bait fishing and carp fishing. So I figured, you know what, I had some experience with them in the past. They had decent reels. And I wanted to play around with their latest. And already I'm a little disappointed it's not a thread in handle. It is one of these annoying little hex keyed handles. I thought it would have been a... Uh, a screw in. And let's see, we got a box. It's got some words on it. Akuma Fishing Locust Court, Ontario, California. It's Canadian and Californian. Holy crap. What the? It's made in China. And it's going to cause me reproductive harm. Get that box away from me. Thank God they're real safe. Pictures of fishies. Spinning reels, owner manual. Congratulations, you got a piece of paper. All right. And it gives you crystal clear washers so you can lose them easier. And here is the high quality <laughs> uh, exploded diagram. All right, high quality paper, spared no expensive trees. And the real, is this the warranty, is on a better quality paper. Okay, get that out of the way. And bang my mic on the back of my camera. Ew. No, no, no. It's, is there something, hold on, let me, before I go any further, let me take this off. It felt like something was bound up. Let's see if it does it. Okay. Let's take the spool off. <laughs> we got a turd. Ew. What's that all about? Okie dokie, we are impressed already, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it catches, like, right, there's something sticking. Loose, loose, stick, loose. St yeah, you can see it. Just look at the rotor. <laughs> where the rotor slows down is where it sticks. Okay, we're going to go put this handle on tighter now. I had originally planned on opening this reel up <laughs> the second I got it. <laughs> and do a little bit of a creative unboxing, but okay, so we're gonna go. But I might have to return this. That's uh, clean there, it stops, gets a little sticky, 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 loose, sticky, loose. St is this spool shaft bent? It's still doing it. Right there. Right there. Alright. 
we're retiring this, but we're opening it up because I want to know what the heck is going on. <sighs> Nothing's ever easy. These tackle companies are just throwing me these 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 gems left and right. This is starting to get annoying because I'm spending real money on this garbage and it's starting to piss me off. I'm, I'm not even care. Now I have to deal with tackle warehouses, horrible customer service. They can't even price match on something that you order. Now I got to deal with this. Yeah, I'm not a happy camper if you can't tell. Between that star reel and the Corrado getting water all inside of it and um, what the heck? Oh, Torx. I'm not even paying attention. Is this the right size? Of course not. Well, let's let's go ahead here. Okay, we got some grease up at the top here. And it looks it's I keep on banging my mic on the camera mount. It looks like that screw might be a little chowdered already. We haven't touched it yet. It wasn't me. I'm going to grab our size zero. There's one thing I hate, and it's spool shims that don't want to budge. I don't know. That was more trouble than it should have been. All right, let's get our. We'll start with a 10 mil. Looks like it is. What way does she want to turn? Okay, so it is clockwise to loosen. See that every now and then. Okay, so we got the rotor off. There is a pair of shims that shim the rotor above the AR clutch. This looks like it's a pretty well designed anti-reverse clutch. See that? They just put a pretty little cap on it. I have never been in this reel before, so I don't know what the heck I'm doing. This is, a believe, a completely um, unique design. Okie dokie. Nice. Would you look at that? We've seen this before on some Flugers and some similar to Daiwa. Okay, ready to eject. Okay. I am pretty disappointed. I was looking forward to fishing this reel. Okay, so are these screws the same? Nope. They're different, and that one's rolling away. Okay, so the shortest screw goes here, the longer one goes in there, and the shortest one goes here. And, oh look, there's screws on the other side. Okay, so let's get this organized in such a way that I won't mess it up going back. I will say these screws are of, it seems, a better quality than that of those torques that were on the star. Disappointing, disappointing, and I'm talking to myself because I'm disappointed. Okay, so I don't know how this is going to come, oh, wow, look at that, the whole body comes out. Okay, this thing weighs like nothing. Okay, that's that's pretty neat. And there's like almost no flex at all. That's solid. Fancy plastic. Gotta love fancy plastic. Okie dokie. Now we have this anti-reverse clutch. Wow, that's cute. Cool. That side down.
And I know there's another screw here. I'm just looking for anything else. <laughs> Okie dokie. See, this is kind of fun because I don't know what I'm doing. I've never been in this reel before. I don't know what to expect. I'm not trying to do a tutorial or nothing, so I can just go at it as I please. Okay. Open says me. It's starting to kind of open, but I don't know what. I'm focusing more on what's going on in the camera, what you guys can see, than what I'm actually trying to do here. Okay, it looks like that's it. Okay, there's a shim there. Shim meaning spacer, not a non-binary individual. And this is part of what holds the handle shaft in. That's a nice looking little gear. HDG. It's a little bright to be zinc is it I don't know is that aluminum I might have to take some uh, vinegar and see if it's zinc or not And you can see how they do this slow oscillation. They have a reduction gear here. So if you see this, that runs off the drive gear. And that turns the larger wheel, so it kind of reduces um, its ratio. So it slows down. See how the shaft goes up and down fairly slow? Or it did. <laughs> Goes up and then it goes down. Let's see. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what caused that binding. Nothing blow up on me here. What is that? Okay. Yeah, it seems to be relatively well supported. Doesn't need bearings, although bearings are nice for this kind of stuff. Okay, so this is keyed and it see it's D shaped to that. And now we gotta figure out how this went back in. Ha ah, ha, that was easy. <laughs> like I've done this before. Upside down. How you doing? Is that screw supposed to go there? And yeah, we're gonna say yes it was. So there, there you have it. That's the inside of this reel. It doesn't use a spring, it just uses like a like a folded over piece of metal. This is this this switch design has been used for eons, so that's perfectly fine. But what is this? I I don't know what this is. I'm a hold on. I'll be right back. Oh, you guys ever do vinegar shots? Apple cider vinegar with the mother in it. Bottoms up. Oh, it's good for you. Of course, it tastes like. Now, if this were zinc, some sort of magic would be occurring right now. I think. I don't know if there's any magnesium in it. 
something would happen. This this might be aluminum. <laughs> what the hell do I know? <laughs> I'm not some magical metallurgist. I can't tell what shit is just by looking at it. Nobody can. Nobody knows in this day and age when you look at these Chinesium uh, metals. So, let's get this back in its home. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. And let's go ahead and, yeah, that's, that's a clean bearing. That's your pinion. Brass. Oh. Who wants to come over and do some apple cider vinegar shots? I do. Said nobody ever. Let's see. Why you no work? There it is. Boom. Two of these little shims on top of there, like so. And well, let's take a listen to this bearing. Now I'm going to show you a cool tool that's affordable for fools. I don't know why I decided to make that rhyme, but you'll live with it. This thing here, this little piece of crap here, it's like two or three bucks on eBay. Machined aluminum. It's a bearing checker. It spins good. And this one here. That one feels good too. I couldn't feel any crunchiness or something that might be out of alignment or anything like that and it felt all right this is a totally different ball game when I'm trying to do this in front of the camera and in frame Am I in? Yeah, I'm in frame That's why. Now usually when you're set up like this, it's not very smooth. But you can kind of feel the resistance. So I'm going in on the reduced side. So it's going to feel a little heavier. Okay. Whatever. Didn't feel nothing. Now, we're gonna get this stupid little spring back on. Yeah, I'm gonna do this off frame. Sorry. Yeah, just use my fingers. Didn't even need anything for it. You can see that's what centers that anti reverse clutch and turns it on and off. Oh, that was right. 
And then we have this silly thing we can't forget about the two shims that go over the pinion before we put the rotor back on. So yeah, even though uh, I'm not a fan of Tackle Warehouse um, anymore, after probably spending, I don't know, five grand over the last couple of years with them, uh, this is by no means their fault. And who knows, maybe the reel function perfectly. Oh, wait, is that the right screw? I don't know, was that? No. This was the one that held the rotor nut in place. Duh. Can't forget this little silly clear piece of plastic that keeps the handle shimmed and tight. I don't feel any heaviness now. Let's see. I hate that. I didn't do anything differently to the reel or do anything to the reel at all. Maybe the rotor nut was just screwed on too tight. Some reels, that happens. If you tighten it up too much, it'll mess with how it runs. No, I don't have a handle. <laughs> Night and day. Night and day difference. Now, let's get this silly thing back in its house. Yum, yum, it's, it's like Pac Man. Jump, 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 jump. Yeah, I know, I'm special. At least that's what my mom says. Hi, Mom! Alright, I want to find my actual uh, proper sized um, Torx. It was right next to all my other screwdrivers that I have specific for reels. <laughs> which is quite literally a piece of wood with holes in it right next to my face with all my common used real tools so they're never <laughs> out of uh, reach and sure as <laughs> sure as we missed Well, it is a pretty reel. If you're into the Transformers. Anybody remember what that was for? Nah, it's tight again. So it has to do with something tightening down that side plate. <sighs> yeah, I shouldn't have gone as far. Oh, th that was probably underneath that little, this thing. 
Eh, let's go again. I don't know. You suck. Some of you might think this is fun. Uh, no, it kind of is. I'm also doing is I'm inspecting that guide or that traverse support, making sure that that is smooth. And it seems to be. It doesn't look like there's anything out of whack. So let's see if removing that shim makes any difference. Tell you what, I, 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 it sounds silly with all the fancy screwdrivers that are out there. I love these stupid Home Depot ones. They discontinued them. I don't think they're around anymore. But they, they're made with some good metal and they just last. Okie dokie. Still smooth. That's like butter. Wow, there's less play in the <laughs> with the shim removed. There's less play in the handle. Yeah, you know, I never opened a bale. They made some big stinking deal about this thing or yeah, that thing. That's a nice feeling bale. Okie dokie, let's get this down in here now. All right, I don't have to return this reel anymore, for real. Never works. Now for the hardest screw in the entire reel. This little bugger. You know what? Let's take a quick peek at the old drag stack. I can hear some grittiness. Maybe it's carbon fiber. Nope. Felt. Greased felt. I guess that's alright. I don't lose any sleep over that. Doesn't look like to be any uh, machining leftover bits in there, nor down in here. Sealed drag stack at the top. This is a nice little reel. Now if you look, all right, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to move this, uh, the handle in and out like that. 
none, no play, zero. And now we're going to grab the rotor solidly like that. You can see that the anti-reverse mechanism is engaged. And now we're going to look at the play in the handle. That's pretty darn good. That's pretty darn good. I can definitely tell you guys that it feels better than this piece of Now let's take a look. See the handle play here? This is your uh, favorite fishing defender piece of junk. Look at that. And look at the oscillation on this. See how slow the spool goes up and down? I love seeing that. I really like seeing that. This is a CI4 Plus. See how slow this one goes? The Aerotechnium is half that speed. I think it's 50 handle cranks to get it go top and down, top and bottom, up and down. If you guys fish braid, that's what you want to see. So yeah, um, let me get a weight on this thing. I have a giant scale, and somehow I can't find it. It's sitting right next to me. Once again, we didn't need that anyway. We are in grams. 255 of them. I'm one day going to learn what that is, as well as that. Nine point oh two ounces. Really? I ordered a nine ounce reel? I could swear this thing was like seven. The 30. I'm going to have to Google that. I thought it was lighter than this. Hmm. All right. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I learned something. I hope you guys did. Uh, I try to do unboxings a little bit differently because other than looking at paper and sharing my buying experience, I don't know why people watch them. So, yeah. Um, a little disappointed at first. I think... I think she'll do just nicely after removing that shim. And the best part about it now is I now have a spare shim. And if this reel does start to give me some grief, uh, I have a um, you know video evidence that it shipped out that way. And maybe Akuma can take this video and maybe you know send out an email to their I don't know to people out there read emails. Never mind. But it's a very nice feeling reel i, I gotta admit uh, I, I bought it because i was curious to see how they've changed over the years i always enjoy seeing how certain reels mature and different companies change things and go in different directions with uh products that have been in their lineup for a long time and it looked pretty nice <laughs> i'm not gonna lie and guys there is no flex in this reel it is solid I mean, if you told me this was made out of, uh, of metal, I just, you know, the only difference I could really tell is that usually these carbon composite reels feel a little bit warmer in hand as a pair, uh, compared to the, like, a cold aluminum or magnesium. But, yeah, it's a solid reel. And I, I'm going to find out if the aluminum is indeed, uh, or that main gear is indeed aluminum. If that is, that's a great value. Um, for $69, I think is what this retails for. Um, I'm going to fish this reel, and these reels are starting to get out of that disposable uh, type category. Um, and I'll tell you what, guys. Um, I don't ever snap the bale shut like this. This is the best feeling bale I've ever felt in my life. This is better than my Stella. I don't know if it's this way just because it's new. This is the best this reminds me of a 15 year old stratic when i put the bale or the uh, rotor arms inward of the of the rotor itself 
and have that nice loud click. Oof. I like that. I really like that. <laughs> and it's in Akuma. Dude, Akuma's been coming out with some good stuff. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I, I mean, I used to kind of be against Akuma because of reports that one of the people that owned the company were supporting you, supporters of PETA or some crap like that. And I believe the internet and whether it was true or not, I don't know. But it seems every year Akuma comes out with something that's just a, a tad bit better. Um, now let's go over... Did I throw the box somewhere? Where is the box? It's a tiny box. Where the heck is it? It's got to be right next to me and I'm not seeing it. <laughs> yep. Okay, so what do they have on here? Let's go over it. Cyclonic Flow Rotor. They say it's promote. It's there to promote air drying. Sure, why not? Um, torsion control armor. I remember seeing a guy on a YouTube video talk about the split here. Um, split or whatever. It's the long strand carbon composite, which is basically a, 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 a fancy way of saying uh, fancy plastic. And it's for real, guys. Um, it's going to take over. Uh, all metal reels. I can guarantee you that. Um, and I'm also, at least in my impression, when you had reels that were fiberglass or glass reinforced uh, composite, that glass reinforcement chews up the molds in which they squirt the stuff in there and cast the, the parts from. I think these long strand carbon uh, composites do better in the molds so they can get more life out of the mold, which is very expensive when you have to actually make a new mold. C40X, torsion control, that's kind of part of the same. And slow oscillation. Guys, there's no bullshit on this box. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Eight point eight ounces, 249 grams. So yeah, we're a little off on that. But not by much. Okay, nice. 18 pounds of drag. <laughs> the hell do I need 18 pounds of drag for in this thing? Uh, I, I dig it. Um, I, I can't goof on this reel at all. I was kind of, kind of hoping to goof on the Akuma reel, but I'll tell you what. Even though it came out of the box feeling like a turd, um, it's it's not bad. I like, I like these knobs. I hate T-knobs. This shape is, I like it. And I'm not the biggest EVA knobber, but it's it's nice. Now, if this reel lasts, if it fishes well, this could be one of the best reels in that price range. Was it $69? Where's my packing slip? Sixty-nine ninety-nine. I'll tell you what, I got a Fuego coming in, and I'll compare directly to that. And I can tell you right now, this feels beautiful. I don't care about how free spinning a reel is, but it is a sweet, sweet reel for that price. Where is the other Creed? There it is. Get over here. This thing is a piece of junk. This Creed K, I think this is the same price. It has a clickier drag, like a cooler sounding click. With more clicks per inch. But other than that, what's the weight on it? Full ounce heavier. No comparison. This guy, this guy here has a much better feel 
than this thing. And I'll get the review out with this and all that kind of stuff. So, okay, guys, thank you for joining me. This was kind of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. hope you guys don't look at this as just another random unboxing. Even though it kind of is. And if you guys don't mind, hit that like button. If you have any questions, ask them down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Check out my other stuff and definitely participate in the conversation. And until next guy, bleh, bleh. Until next time, guys, thank you very much. Tight lines, and I'll see you soon. This is kind of fun. I like doing these. I don't have to worry about knowing what I'm doing and doing stuff in order. This is kind of, I got to do more of these. You know what? <laughs> if I'm going to do more of these, go to my Patreon page and give me more money so I can do more of these. <laughs> oh, God, I'm going broke. <laughs>